just came across this like earlier, uh, like a day ago. And see, this is what I was saying. People thought that, well, I had a comment where someone said I was coming out of left field on Fresh. I told you I was completely right on this. I knew he was gay all along. You could just tell. Sometimes, like, excuse me, with gay people, you can't just expect them to just come out and say that they're gay. You have to actually watch all the things that they say, the different things they say that have nothing to do with being gay ostensibly, but you have to see everything that they say and then try to basically see if it anything correlates to anything related to being gay at all. And you could tell, like I said, the first thing that I noticed originally, like I said, was being saying things about night riders, that we are not night riders. Why are you viewing yourself as a rider when you are, you know, a man? And on top of it, not wanting to foreplay a woman, you know, and you don't want to go down on a woman. You don't like female genitalia. This tells me you like penis, you know. And these photos that came up, it's just like sealed the deal. I already thought he was gay. It was quite obvious, you know. Also, somebody else pointed out that he might specifically be racist or something because he's Sudanese. And, you know, if you look up Sudanese people, they do have some issues within their country on black people sometimes it's a weird situation somebody pointed out on chris logic's live that um both fresh and fit are not light-skinned and so they have self-hate issues on their skin tone um i don't specifically think that's the case with fresh in that regard i think it's actually a racial issue i think when i say that i mean this um if you know anything about some sudanese families and things of that nature they have a bit of a desire not to be black and more to align with for example arabs even though they have no arab blood in them many of the time they take dna tests generally they will have north african heritage and sub-saharan african heritage at varying amounts some are 50 50 some are two-thirds sub-saharan one-third north african and so forth but they aren't arabs generally on average and you know, they are most of the time, you know, very heavily, very strongly rejected by Arab people because they aren't Arab, which makes sense. And plus, there's a lot of racism in the Middle East. So a lot of them have a lot of internalized racism, and they have a lot of um, issues in regard to, you know, being seen at the bottom of those type of worlds and perspectives so their scapegoat is darker skinned black people even in their own country that is the case that dark skinned black people can be their can be basically their scapegoat for the fact that they are rejected by a lot of other people you know that don't have black in them like for example, Arab, many Arab countries and Arab people would not accept them and see them just like black people because they are black people. Um, and, you know, many so many people like North Africans would see them similarly too, even though they do have North African blood, but they have sub-Saharan African blood, that, which makes them black instead. Um so, I think what his problem might be, in part, might be an internal racial issue going on there. As, um, like I said, Karen specifically was saying that there was some kind of racism there. And 
I didn't believe her, but after I heard that he was from another country, I kind of feel like that might have to do with it, too. But more than that is the whole thing about being gay, which was just like, um, I knew that was the case. It was quite obvious, you know, it was just obvious. But I guess people aren't that perceptive on who's gay and who's not or whatever. I'm very perceptive on this, but honestly, I don't really care who's gay and who's not. It's just like when we're when it's important to mention, I mention it. Otherwise, it's not important. It's not important. And in most cases in life, it's not important to me. Not even in my personal life is being gay important to me. So, you know how little importance it has to me personally. But like I said, as far as preference and interests, he's not interested in women, so his opinion is not important on women. Um, on fit, I wanted to do um, a video just explaining. Um, I for I didn't realize that he also was one to buy women or something like that, and I guess he didn't want to be a simp, but he's being used by some woman basically for his money and he was completely blind to it and not smart enough to see that's what was happening to him um I don't really care that people are simps or whatever they call them I mean if people want to buy women or whatever and they never want to find real love I think that's a major road that a lot of red pillars are headed for because they don't realize that people can actually love them for who they are. They're kind of jaded, you know? And when you're jaded, you will never attract people who actually are good for you, but you will only attract those who are just looking to use you and destroy you in the process. So... I mean, you know, having a negative energy and outlook doesn't help you because you repel the people who are actually good for you in your life. And, you know, a lot of sectors like that constantly basically appease the incels in their crowd and their audience and they live that lifestyle, and all they'll end up with being is a bitter incel who feels used and feels like they will never find anyone who actually loves them because they went about it as if no one was going to love them. And if you don't think anyone can love you, how can you think anyone else will think you are a lovable person? I mean, with Fit anyway, Fit doesn't love himself, so how can Fit find a woman who will love him? We've been through that already on the whole thing of dark-skinned black women. I mean, if you don't like dark skin and you have dark skin, you don't love yourself. So, it's no shock that the women he's attracting are just using him and only see black men as something they can use and nothing that they actually love. So that's all I have to say in this video. Um, I just thought I'd add some commentary and add this photo because I was like, I told you I was right on fresh. So yeah. And I'm obviously right with it as well. So thanks for watching and bye.